Hello, Story Wilson with rswsolutions.com. This is my 2008 Land Rover LR3 vehicle. And today, I have uh, some larger tires. They're 275, 65, 18s. And we're going to recalibrate the LR3 air suspension stored height profiles. And we're going to do that with a software tool that I have written personally. This is the 4D CAN software tool, available at my website www.rswsolutions.com. I am the sole designer and developer of this tool and it is only available at my website. So today, to recalibrate the air suspension, we're gonna need a few things. Uh, your, your air suspension has to be in perfect working order. A recalibration does not repair anything with your air suspension. It merely recalibrates the height that the air suspension computer attempts to achieve. And this means that if you have a leak in your system, this is not going to fix a leak, a sag, a corner that's sagging, this is not going to repair that. You have to repair that by fixing the leaks in the system first, and the, the system has to be in perfect working order. The air suspension compressor needs to be in top shape, no leaks in the system, and ready to go. So what we've done is we're going to set this car up for air suspension recalibration. We need to uh, run the engine put the air suspension the standard ride height profile and then let the air suspension air compressor run until it stops meaning we have a full air tank so then next let's go over some of the steps we're going to get ready to, to do this uh, calibration so the way the air suspension computer does its job every single day several several hundreds of times a second is it monitors the uh, sensor readings from each of the four corners on the vehicle and there's a height sensor each of the four corners between the uh, frame of the LR3 vehicle and the suspension swing arm on that corner of the vehicle it monitors that sensor reading and constantly adjusts the height so when it does its thing it's looking to reach a target value now, what we are going to do in the recalibration process, we are going to modify those target values in the air suspension computer. So when it tries to level the suspension, it's going to either level it a little bit higher or a little bit lower, depending on what we tell it the calibration value is. So in this example, we're going to assume, let's say we just replaced a height sensor on the right front corner of this vehicle and we want to make sure, you know, we've installed the sensor, and when we tell the vehicle to go to standard height, that right front corner, let's just say it's a little too high. We can tell, we've taken our measurements, and it's a little too high, so we're gonna modify that. So, what we're gonna need to take valuable measurements before we even start, we need to take physical measurements on all four corners. I've got some blue painter's tape, a marker, and a tape measure, and I'm gonna show you how to set up a repeatable and reliable method for taking measurements on all four corners of the vehicle. We take our painter's tape, placing one piece on the wheel hub, the center, and the next piece, as best as you can, directly above it on the wheel arch. You do this on all four corners. You take your pen, you make a mark on the hub and on the wheel arch. Do that on all four corners and take your tape measure and take your measurements. Always starting at the same point. And so on right here, I take this measurement and I write it down. Repeat this process for all four corners. Write it down because you're gonna reference it over and over again. We've taken our measurements on all four corners. You know what, and I do it twice. I do it twice to make sure I'm getting an accurate measurement. Write it down. Don't forget to do this step, otherwise you're going to be lost. Now we're going to move over to the computer and make some modifications to the values. And then we're going to repeat the process over and over again. Let's continue the 4D CAN software calibration tool for the LR3. So the vehicle engine is running. We're not sitting in the vehicle. The laptop is set up and the cable's running through the window. You don't want any weight in the vehicle. The vehicle needs to be parked on a level surface. And again, the air suspension must be in perfect working condition. You've uh, let the compressor run and stop. So the vehicle is at the standard ride height profile and we have a full tank of air. So let's get our COM port set up here. We're on COM port five. 
with the 40 can tool we're going to go to the LR3 vehicle we're going to go to the uh, let's actually you know what you better check your air suspension for faults first open the communication read faults no faults no faults systems in good working order let's proceed to a calibration so the overall process is we're going to open communications get the current heights now these current heights you'll notice they're not in inches or millimeters it's just an unsigned integer number a single byte integer number that's being returned back from the height sensors so you know this is the way the air suspension computer stores the ride height profile and that's what we're going to modify when you got the current values here when you say get current those values are stored in a log file don't forget there are log files created this calibration log file it's a uh, just been created on 9.7. Here it is. These are the values. So you can refer to these later if you need to go back to the original and condition and undo something. So let's get back. So the right front corner on our vehicle is a little too high. It measured it out about a half inch too high or about you know, uh, 10, 15 millimeters too high. So what we're going to do is we're going to lower this. Let's uh, take it down to 195. Uh, let's try 190. And you write. It goes through its sequence of writing. We've just written that new value. Let's get the current values again to verify the change has been made. And there it is, 190. So what we're going to do now, we're going to close communications. We are done using the computer for this portion. What you're going to do is you're going to select, you know, the vehicle's still running, you're going to select the off-road height. Get the suspension to move just a little bit. Now go back down to the standard height. What we're doing here is we are allowing the vehicle to rise a little bit and then settle back down to its target height. We're going to get our tape measure back out and see what changes just happened in the air suspension. We'll do that now. We've just modified the right front corner calibration target value. Now what we're going to do, again, we sent the suspension to off-road height, let it settle back down to standard height. We're going to take some measurements again. Take all your measurements, repeat them for each four corners, record the measurement for each of the four corners, and uh, compare the difference. So in this task, we're trying to lower the right front corner by about a half an inch to an inch, and we just accomplished that. We uh, actually can see the change now in the height of the right front corner, and we're pretty much done with our calibration. If you needed to adjust a little bit further, well, you would repeat the process again make small adjustments, remeasure the corners, and if you're not quite there yet, go back again and make another small adjustment. Now the same can be true if you need to raise or lower all four corners by the same amount. It's much simpler because all you really want to do is take your measurements, go into the software, and increase or decrease each of the four corners by the same amount, the same numerical amount. Again, writing the changes, getting back out and measuring the change. So that's the overall process. Again, make little changes, repeat your measurements, and just make little changes when zeroing in on that final target value. And it's important to note that the air suspension you know, has been designed by Land Rover, and really you should not be changing the original factory target heights. If you do, you can make your vehicle more dangerous to drive, less fuel efficient, you can wear out your tires quicker. So just keep that in mind. This is really something if you have a corner that's not reaching a target height because of a height sensor replacement, this is a great tool to get that corner equal with all the rest of the corners in the vehicle. And again, uh, go to my website www.rswsolutions.com and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.